Ensuring the supply of medical services in future will be cost effective so that it will not bring about overconsumption. And this was a key observation made by a healthcare policy expert who explained that the government will have to strike a balance between the supply and demand side as well as public and private spending. This as the government brings in substantial financing on the demand side. Claire Huang with more. Increased subsidies for specialist outpatient clinics for lower and middle income Singaporeans and more Medisafe top ups. These were some of the measures announced in Budget 2014 to make healthcare costs more affordable for locals, especially the elderly. And the moves have earned the nods of many. Of course, it helped me because at the moment I'm getting the health subsidized also. Uh, my mom is already 81, so she's the only one probably will benefit. Definitely the medic safe payment and all these are cheaper because it's going up because our age gap. Now we are 40 something. So it's quite high. We have to pay some of the part to cash already. If they have insufficient cash or insufficient funds, we will actually have to help them as a, as a daughter. Yeah. Yeah, as a children for the parents here. Yeah. One analyst described the measures as generous, elderly friendly and pro poor. But more needs to be done. What we are worried is the uh, middle class uh, crunch, you know, uh, the generation that's in between. Because not only do they have to support the, the elderly parents, but they also will have to also take care of their own health care needs uh, in the future. So this uh, group, I think, as we go along, we have to tweak the system to ensure that the MediSafe top-ups uh, will be enough. On the minds of many, having a more extensive list of conditions that can be covered by MediSafe would be a bonus. Those people are really ill, already ill. They they hope so much that the list can go longer so that it will actually uh, help them. The government has said that with higher Medisave contributions, it will allow elderly Singaporeans to use a portion of their Medisave more flexibly across a range of outpatient treatments.